All right, ladies and gentlemen, so in today's trigonometry class, we're going to review two quick examples. Um, well, maybe they're not that quick, but the topic that we're going to be doing or uh, working with today is um, solving a right triangle given the length of two sides. So we're going to be solving a right triangle given the length of two sides. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the two things that we're going to do. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work with um, finding degrees of angles um, with um, four significant digits. It says using a calculator to determine an acute angle. So we've worked with calculators before, and we we found how to uh, find the degrees of certain angles or whatnot. But here we're doing the opposite. It says, use a calculator to find Z, round answers to the nearest degree. So now we're going to have something where we're looking for um, the cosine, but you're not getting an angle. You're actually getting, or you're not getting an angle itself, you're getting the answer. So I have the cosine of Z, and I know that the cosine of Z equals... 0 0.8734. So I know that's the value of the cosine of z equals 0 0.87 or 87. So I know that's the value of the cosine, but I do not know the value of z itself. So what am I going to do? Well, in that case, what I'm going to do is find the value of z. So we're looking for Z. So how do I do that? Well, in your calculator, depending on what kind of calculator you have, if you have a scientific calculator or if you're using the calculator from your phone, there is there are three basic trigonometric functions, which we know as sine, cosine, and tangent. But if you look at your calculator, there's always a key that says shift, or second, depending on what kind of calculator you have. It can be a key, a button that says shift. Or sometimes it says second. And when you look at your trigonometric functions in your calculator, you know that you have sine. Okay, so you have three trigonometric functions in your calculator. Sine. Cosine. And tangent. So if you look at your calculators, you see those, and then if you look above above them, you'll have above sign. It says, or I'm gonna write it below, but you'll see something that says sign. Usually above, it says sine to the negative one, and that just means inverse sine. Or you'll have the same thing with cosine. It says cosine to the negative one. And you have a tangent to the negative 1. Okay? So usually you'll find those keys above. I wrote them below, obviously, because of the lack of space. And then you have the key that says second or shift. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your calculators, and you're going to look for the key that says second or shift. And we're going to calculate the cosine or the inverse cosine of 0 0.8734. So you're going to go and look in your calculator, look for the button that says shift. It says second. It, it could be, it could appear as something else, but those are the two most common ones. And you're going to press that button. You're going to press the key. That says cos to the power of negative 1, which means inverse cosine. That's, of course, if your calculator reads from left to right. In other calculators, you'll probably have to write the number first and then press the key. But since my calculator works from left to right, what I do is I go and I press um, the second key. I press the cosine or the inverse cosine. And I round to the nearest degree. So the answer that I'm going to get when I look for that in my calculator, 
the answer that the calculator is going to give me is 21 or 29.1438. It's going to give me, let me just write it here, um, 29. Point So the problem says to round to the nearest degree, so I'm just going to round this to 29 degrees, and I'm going to say that the cosine of z, or that z, is 29 degrees, or approximately 29 degrees. So z is 29 degrees, or approximately 29 degrees. And again, all I did was I took the number that they were giving me in the problem, which in this case was a 0. 8734. And then what you did was you went to your calculator. And if your calculator reads from left to right, then you would first press second or shift and the cosine key. That's automatically going to give me the inverse cosine. And then you write the number 0 0.8734. And then what you do is you just press the equal sign. In some calculators, it's the other, it's the opposite. It's the other way around. You'll write 0 0.8734, then press the second, and in this case, the cosine key, and that'll give you your answer. Either way, you guys need a calculator to work with this, okay? So let's do the second one. I'm going to go ahead and clear my board. And then example, the second part of the example is basically asking me to do the same thing, but in this time, it's not the, si the cosine. It's actually the tangent. So the problem is says the tangent of z, the tangent of z, the tangent of z equals two point seven five two. Two point seven five two so again we go to our calculators and we look for the in this case we press the second or shift i'm going to assume it's shift some calculators will say second and you'll have shift so you'll press the, the if your calculator reads from left to right you'll calculate the shift key then you're going to look for the tangent And that's automatically where you're going to press the tangent. And that's going to give me the tangent or the inverse tangent. In this case of 2.752. Or if your calculator does not read from left to right, then you just write 2.752. Hit the shift or second button and look for the inverse tangent. It's above the tangent, and it says 10 to the power of negative 1. And then you're going to press the equal sign, and what you're going to get is 70 point. So the, the answer is going to be the 70 point 0, 03. Zero two six seven eight four and what you guys are supposed to do now is just round it to the nearest degree. So obviously. 70, next to the 70, there's a zero, so we'll say that Z is approximately 70 degrees. And that's it for that. 
So now we're going to look at the other example. And in the other example, what we're doing is actually calculating or solving a right triangle given two sides. Okay, so let's go ahead and erase this. This is example four. Now we're going to move on to example five of your textbook. And we have a right triangle that I'm going to try to draw to the best of my abilities. And the triangle, whoop, I was doing good and then I kind of messed it up here. And in the triangle, right, the measurements are the hypotenuse of this triangle is 37.21 centimeters. Point 21 centimeters. The opposite side is 19.67 centimeters as well. I'm missing the value in this case of A. I know I have a 90 degree angle here because it is a right triangle. I'm missing A. I'm also missing the value of beta, which is down here. And I'm missing the value of alpha, which is over here. And the exercise or the example is asking you to find the value of A, alpha, and beta. So we're looking for A. We're looking for alpha, and we're looking for beta. Now, we can technically start with any one of these sides, okay? We can um, find A by using the Pythagorean theorem. We can find alpha by using inverse trigonometric or not by inverse trigonometric excuse me by using um trigonometric functions and beta we can use by simply just subtracting the difference of the angles so to re in reality um one thing that we also need to to take into account is the significant figures so if we're looking for the sides understand uh, a in this case, there are four significant figures. So you have one, two, three, four. If I look at 37.21, there are four significant figures here. Likewise, if I look at 19.67, there are four significant figures here, which means that A is supposed to have or should have four significant figures as well. So that's the first thing we want to take into account. And I am go actually going ahead and going to delete that real quick. So that way, you, you just, just to illustrate that our sides, in this case, A, is supposed to have four significant figures. Okay, it says they give, and, and I'm reading from your book, it says the given sides have four significant figures or four significant digits. Therefore, round the final calculated value to four significant digits. Um, a, it says... Um, and, and then the the degrees it says solve for alpha. It says the co um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to solve for alpha. Mind you, that I could very easily solve for beta as well. But I'm following the steps in your book, and we're solving for um, we're solving for alpha. Now, what we're doing is we're rounding our sides to four significant digits and our angles to two significant digits. So if I'm looking for alpha, and I'm gonna use red, alpha, which is right here, I'm gonna use trigonometric functions. So I have alpha, or I'm looking for alpha, 
And I have this side, 19.67. So 19.67 is actually close to alpha. So we're going to use the cosine. So we're going to say the cosine of 19.67 divided by is going to equal 19.67 divided by 37.21. So 19.67. And then the decimal point is right here. I didn't write it. And then we're going to divide by the hypotenuse, which is 37.21, excuse me. So we're going to divide 19.67 by... 37.21, and that's going to give me the cosine of alpha, but it's not giving me alpha. So if I divide that, and, and the problem is saying because there are four significant digits on the side, you want to round your answer to your final answer to four significant digits. So when I divide 19.67 by 0 0.21 in the calculator, I get that the cosine of alpha, the cosine of alpha, is actually 0 Two one, two one, three three eight, three three eight. So I have to. I have the cosine of alpha, but I don't want the cosine of alpha. I want the value of alpha. So that means that I have to look for the inverse cosine of alpha. Remember how we do this? Go back to the previous example. You go to your calculator, you press the second, the shift, or the second or shift key. If your calculator reads from left to right, you plug in this number 0 0.52862138 and you look or you press the equal sign. Or if your calculator does not read from left to right, you simply just write the number 5286212 Two one three eight, and what you do is you press the equal sign, and you're gonna get, or you're gonna round to the nearest degree, and the nearest degree is fifty eight point zero eight. So this is gonna be fifty eight. point zero eight and it's a long number i'm not going to write the whole number the exact number eight seven six seven six four eight five five let's see if i can write if i have enough space four eight i think i do five five Okay, so that's the answer that I got, and I have to round my answers to four significant digits as well because my size has four significant digits. So I'm going to leave it at um, 58. Now, 58.0a are four significant digits. However, if I look next to the 8, I have a 7. So that means that I would round that up to 58.09 degrees. zero nine degrees and that is my value for alpha okay so 58.09 degrees and i'm going to go ahead and erase that 58.09 degrees
And now we're going to look for beta. Now beta, or we're going to look for, I'm sorry, let me just switch this up. Because I just realized that I wrote the number in the wrong place. So give me one second here. And let's go back. So this is the value of alpha. Now we're going to look for the value, or we can look for that value of beta, or we look for the value of A. I'll look for the value of beta. Now, this is a 90-degree angle here, and I know the value of alpha. So to find beta, all I really do is I say beta plus 58.08. Or you know what? Even simpler, just subtract. I'm not even going to complicate it. So we're going to say beta equals... 90 degrees, 90 degrees, minus the value of alpha, which is 58.09. So we're going to subtract that. Okay, You guys can use your calculators if you want to hurry up the process. And you're going to divide 90 by um, 58.09. And we use, or not divide, excuse me, you're going to subtract that. And this is a subtraction sign, not a negative, just in case. Make that bigger. So you're going to subtract 90 minus 58.09. And when you subtract that, the answer that you get is 31.91. Because remember, we're rounding to four significant digits. So we know that the value of beta is 31, 31 point. 91 degrees and that is the value of beta 31.91 degrees so what we're going to do now is we're going to look for the value of a and i'm actually going to go ahead and erase this side of the board and we'll use this side to find the value of a if you have any questions on how i found the cosine of alpha remember you guys can pause rewind the video and um i will definitely <laughs> and you'll definitely get a chance to see how that was done again right so let me just erase this side because that way we'll find b a excuse me in this in this case and that will be the end of our uh, video lesson so to find A, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. Because remember, the Pythagorean theorem says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So all I need to do is just kind of plug them in. So A squared is what I'm, I'm looking for. Uh, B squared, in this case, is 19.67. So plus 19.67 squared. Always remember to write squared. Sometimes it happens where some people forget that, you know, this is elevated to the power of 2. So it's very important that you keep that in mind. So 19.67 squared plus 37.21 squared. So 37, let's see if I have space to write it here, point 21 squared. Now you can barely see this point. There you go, point 21 squared so 37.21 squared okay so a squared stays the same i'm not looking for i'm not going to do anything with it until the very end and then you're going to write 19.67 squared and you're going to look for that in your calculator um so if you go to your calculator and you look for 19.67 squared That'll be 386.90. So let's see if I have space here. 386. Point. 9089. 9089. And remember that we're going to. Uh, round our final answer to four significant digits and plus and of course 31.60 uh 37.21 squared i'm sorry 
So 37.21 squared in your calculator would be 1,384. So this is, let's see if I can write it here. 1,384. 1,384.5841. Point five eight four one and this is an eight guys you can barely distinguish it but this is an eight so now we're going to add that so again 19.67 squared plus um, 37.21 squared 37.21 squared and that equals 1,771. So A squared equals 1,771. 771 point 493 and we're just going to find the square root so I'm just going to double check make sure everything is right And the square root of that is, give me one second, guys. Okay, I just realized that I made a mistake in this part. I apologize because what I'm supposed to do, I apologize for the error. I just realized that I have this, but I have to subtract. I actually have to subtract because this is not plus. This is equals. So apologize for the mistake. Let me fix it and let me re-explain it just for the benefit of those of you whom I might have caused to get lost here. Let me just fix this for you guys real quick. So what I did is the first thing I did was I, I, I used the Pythagorean theorem. A squared is what I'm looking for. B is 19.67. So that's 19.67 squared equals the hypotenuse, which is 37.21 squared. So 19.67 squared is 386.989. And 37.21 equals... Um, 1,384.5841. So what I'm actually going to do now is just subtract. So I'm going to say A squared equals, because I'm solving for A, 1,384.5841. And again, I apologize for the mistake, ladies and gentlemen. 0.5841, and I'm going to subtract that to 386.9089. So what I'm actually going to do is subtract, and then at the end, I'm going to get the square root of my answer. So again, I apologize. Let me um, let me subtract that real quick for you guys. So all I'm going to do is subtract, in this case, um, 37.21 squared, which equals 1,384.5841 minus 19.67. Um, 
67 squared, which is 386.9089, and that equals um, 997.6752. So when I subtract this, When I subtract this, my answer is 997.6752. Now, I need to find the value of a. So in order for me to find the value of a, I have to get the square root. So I say a squared. And what I'm going to do is find the square root of a and find the square root of 997.6752. And the square root of that is 31.59 approximately, because all I did was I approximated the value of approximated the value of to of the degrees to four significant digits. So that would be um, 31.59, guys. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this exercise. So let me review it to, with you guys one last time before I end the video, just to make sure that I was able to recuperate from the mistake that I almost made. So again, to find A, all we did was we wrote, or we used the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and we substituted them. I don't know the value of A squared. I do know that B is 19.67, so 19.67 squared. And I do know that C, which is my hypotenuse, is 37.21 um, uh, centimeters. So I write that as uh, 37.21 squared. Now, 19.67 squared equals 386.9089. And 37.21 squared equals 1,384.5841 squared. I subtract that. I, I, I isolate A by subtracting. So I'm going to subtract 1,384.5841 uh, minus 386.9089. And when you subtract that, you get 997.6757 um, or 52. And what I need to do, this does not look like a 2. What I need to do here is I need to find the square root. So I'm going to look for the square root of a squared, which is, of course, a, and then the square root of 997.6752, which is approximately 31.59. So that means that the value of a is actually 31.59, 31.59. And that is the answer to this problem. Once again, I hope this helps, and I apologize for the error that I almost made. So maybe, hopefully, this video will be um, useful for you guys. So stay safe, and we'll see each other in our next class. Bye-bye. And enjoy the background music while I sign off. Bye.